Hey guys, so today I just feel like doing my makeup and chatting. I've been staring at these blue eyeshadows in the James Charles palette and wanting to do just a blue eye look and I just want to play with blue eyeshadow and talk to you because I literally just never talk to y'all. I just do makeup and I don't like that. It was like a year ago I said that I didn't want my channel to be like that and here I am. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so that I can just do my makeup while I'm talking about what I'm thinking about. Most likely I won't be mentioning the products that I'm gonna be using so I will list everything down below. I started doing those chill chats I only did like two of them and then I quit. Like I've thought about doing them again, but I'd rather just be like doing something because I wanted to try out this blue look that I've been thinking of for like two weeks now and I keep wanting to film, but I'm like, I really don't want to film just like a makeup tutorial because that's not what I'm feeling like. I just want to actually talk. I've been using an old concealer I used to use and my makeup has been turning out a lot better. It's a Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. But today I'm actually going to mix in a little bit of the Elf 16 hour camo concealer just because I literally can't get it to work so that I can use it and also get a little bit of extra coverage out of it. I've been making not big changes in my life. They're not like super intense. No turning back after this. Nothing like that. The past few weeks I've been eating healthier and... It's not because I want to lose weight and that's like the difficulty I'm having in doing this because every time I look up like healthy recipes, everything is like weight loss and I don't want to lose weight because I don't need to lose weight. But I'm just not healthy and I have been avoiding like actual like sweets. I'm not saying that I'm eating no sugar because that's kind of impossible. I'm not like, oh, let me check the sugar on this. But I have been more interested in that as well, just like checking the sugar on things. It's more like just being more aware of what I am eating. I've made dinner twice now and I've made a shrimp stir fry and chicken fajitas. And the fajitas were so easy because it was like what really caught my attention was it. I was wanting fajitas really bad and then like I saw this like one pan recipe and I was like, oh, count me in. So I've just been like eating more vegetables and fruits. I really love candy. Like I will just sit and eat candy all day. I love candy, but I know it's obviously not good for me, but I've never like let it really affect me. I don't know like what really spurred it. I'll get in to another thing later but i've always known this like just because i'm skinny doesn't mean i'm in shape so whenever i tell people that i've started eating healthy they're like well you don't need to lose weight and i'm like well i just want to actually be healthy what i've realized is if i don't eat sweets i'm not gonna crave sweets this weekend was easter since i'm not like on a strict thing i'm not going to like kill myself and be like no you can't eat anything on easter because i literally wouldn't have been able to eat anything i'm just adding a bunch of products you definitely don't have to do this i just haven't played with makeup in so long and i just love it i ate a lot of bread that's what i've been staying away from a lot is too is a lot of bread i just don't like the feeling of eating a lot of bread after easter i realized that like after i'd had like one like i literally ate one little teeny slice of cake and then i had like jello eggs and things like that sunday night and monday i wanted sweets i hadn't had sweets in like a week or two if you eat sweets you're gonna want them that's what i've realized so it's just easier for me not to eat them and i also tried halo top ice cream so i tried the caramel macchiato flavor it's so good i feel like after i eat regular ice cream i feel bad mentally and physically i ate half the pint like i felt like i could eat the whole thing and that could just be a mental thing because it says less calories but once again i'm not looking at calories like that's one thing i don't want to do you can always put yourself in a really bad situation if you get too caught up with numbers another thing that i've changed that changes my everyday life is i literally haven't put heat on my hair in at least three weeks so every day i used to straighten like these pieces of hair at least straighten that much just because i hated how curly they were i used to like perfect like little pieces if the curls were a little wonky or whatever it's changed me honestly that might sound a little intense for just stopping straightening my hair but like i realize that when i leave my house i barely look at myself in the mirror because i don't have a reason to because i was like taking at least like five or ten minutes trying to get my hair perfect if i had the straightener then i was gonna fix the pieces that needed to be fixed then i would be obsessed with like if my 
curl didn't stay the right way. I would like re-wet it and then re-straighten it and that's obviously really damaging to your hair but also it's just very time consuming. Well, it started with me like frying my hair. This little piece, it still looks pretty bad. Most people don't notice it. I was just like, well, let's just try it. And the thing that was like really holding me back today, my hair is freshly washed and like my curls are normally like out of control, like on the top portion of my head. And that's what I would need to fix. And I just figured it out, like what I needed to do to not do it. Put my hair in a bun, like the first 20 minutes while my hair is drying. And then once I take it out, the bun part is still wet. But the top part of my hair has dried straight. So you just have to figure out. It just changed me mentally as I was saying because I wasn't looking at myself. And then when I would look at the mirror later in the day, I'd be like, wow, I can't believe I went out looking like this. What was I going to do, you know? I feel like it's made me more confident because it's my natural hair. I'm embracing it. It's really not even that curly. I guess like if I went back to straightening my hair every day, like I would think that this looks curly. But to me, it's not really curly at all. I guess because I've like figured it out now. Just wear your natural hair for like a day or two or three. I'm basing this look off of whenever I did my cotton candy look. One eye was blue and one was pink. I used the NYX Brights palette and it looked so good because I just did like blue all over the lid and then I did like a shimmery blue liner all over the lid. I used it as like a shimmer eyeshadow and it looked so good and I just have been thinking about that like since I rewatched that video. School is literally almost over. It's getting so close to the end of the semester. So I'm just like so unmotivated. I just really want it to be summer and I want to start making fun videos. I really want to do like a lot of my firsts this summer and hopefully I'll film it with like a lot of friends. So I just really hope that's what happens. When this gets posted this would have already been revealed. Taylor Swift keeps posting like 426, 426. I don't know if any of y'all are Taylor Swift fans. I'm so ready to find out what it is. It's all like pink and glittery and jewels. For reputation it was like very dark. Maybe this is gonna be like a super girly album. I don't know. Also just recently posted my summer clothing haul. I kind of want to do like an outfits video. I also really want to start like vlogging again just because I love watching other people's vlogs. Samantha Ravendahl was talking about it the other day how she used to vlog because I didn't watch her back then whenever she did vlog so I went back and looked at her vlogs. I literally loved them so much and she was talking about how she thought how boring her life was and that's why she stopped. I was just like Wow, that's I feel like that's how every person who tries to vlog feels the youtubers that I watch that started with daily vlogging I've started like not vlogging anymore and like whenever they go back to their roots and like vlog It's like the best just tell me if y'all that's something that y'all would be interested in and Let me know down below like if you like my posting schedule I've never like even talked about a posting schedule if you don't know I post on Thursdays right now And I mean I like that schedule but just because I know a lot of people post on Monday Wednesday Friday So I just want it to be kind of on a different day but maybe i should go on all those days because that's when people would check their subscription boxes i've never actually thought of that and i always post in the morning just because i schedule them i've never done a video like this where i just talk and play with makeup like i've done chit chat get ready with me is but also in those i still kind of teach you what i'm doing this way you're just watching me and hearing me talk and I just love watching them. I just need to see what I watch and I need to do that. I just keep adding more, but honestly, this is so pretty. I hadn't even talked about TV shows yet. I don't know if I've told y'all, but I finished The Office. It was a very sad day. The ending was so good. Like you would expect me to say that the ending was really bad and that's why I'm sad, but no, it was so good. I know I'm blurry, I don't really care. The ending was the best ending ever, honestly. I don't know, you just have to watch it. You just have to watch all nine seasons. <laughs> After I finished The Office, I was just kind of like really sad. So I watched like my shows that I used to watch. So like New Girl and Friends, I was just kind of back and forth between those two. People kept asking me if I watched Gossip Girl. One of my friends kept telling me to watch it and I was like, okay, well, I literally have nothing to watch now. So I might as well start watching it. I've watched everything that I've thought that I would be interested in. I started watching Gossip Girl. I'm almost done with season two probably already done with season two by the time y'all see this the time when i watch all of this is like during breaks and stuff i download them it's a deal breaker if i can't download the show so like friends and gilmore girls and new girl none of those you can download but like thankfully gossip girl and 
the office you could download that's how i'm watching the majority of it is by downloading it and watching it whenever i can just because i don't have like that much time to just be able to watch it all day every day at home so now i'm watching gossip girl and i absolutely love it <laughs> it's di a lot different than the shows that i watch the shows that i've been watching are more like a lot funnier and like you can just pick up on whatever one and you don't really need the storyline like it would benefit you but you'll still laugh if you don't know what's going on but this is more of like a drama serious kind of show yeah now that i've started there's no way i can stop i'm the kind of person who like goes hardcore on a show and like doesn't watch anything else like i do not watch two shows at once unless it's a show that i've already seen what i was going to talk about i totally forgot i had to do this huge project on any subject that i wanted and i chose plastic so like environment i literally had to do so many things for it i had to read a book i had to watch a documentary or a movie or whatever and then i had to listen to a podcast it's been so informational i could do a whole video just talking about plastic and like why we need to limit it slash <laughs> get rid of it but you don't realize how much i just challenge you to literally just up to 10 items and like you will have way past that if you just start looking around you and like taking note i've never been a fan of plastic water bottles anyways i've always said if you leave like a hot water bottle in your car and you drink that like do not do that people have always made fun of me but now there's actually research that can prove me right plastic has estrogenic activity in it which causes cancer if it gets hot if it gets to a certain temperature the polymers are so weakly linked that it doesn't take much for them to be unlinked and that's whenever the plastic is leached into your water which is true jokes on you everyone who's made fun of me all these years now every time that i go to the grocery store and i forget my reusable bag i'm literally like we literally carry groceries out in our arms the other day because it's like we are not using <laughs> plastic bags i actually like look around and see how many people use just single use plastic the wildlife that is being harmed and the amount of space that's being taken up for the landfills they're not even breaking down because plastics are not biodegradable not even joking you i can make a whole video on this and just preach about it because something needs to change the thing isn't switching over to paper it's just stopping anything single use because single use is all convenience we didn't used to need single use things the easiest things to do that i feel like will still make a huge impact is the single use plastic bags and the single use water bottles and the straws i'm not perfect i don't use no plastic here i am talking about plastic and using everything plastic but i feel like the main things that need to be like cut out is single use things because that would make the hugest impact whenever i went to the store the other day and i used a reusable bag i just felt so good afterwards because you feel like you're helping the environment the thing is like other places have done things about environmental like i don't live in california but i know that they have done like a lot of things or at least san francisco has that was in my book they have done a lot and they've cut their waste down so much and that's what we could do after my declutter i've been considering going cruelty free as i've seen on like other channels whenever you do go cruelty free you just stop purchasing and supporting the brands that aren't cruelty free so like i would just stop mentioning them on here but if i hadn't used up a product i could still use it i just feel like there's so many good brands that are like doing good things and not testing on animals that's another thing that needs to be changed like why is that even a thing i really want to do like my pet peeves and literally just rant that would be the funnest video ever i'm literally gonna offend so many people i can already see it but honestly do i care oh this has been so fun i might have gotten a little too ranty but that's where we're at this is another thing that i forgot about that i discovered in my declutter it's definitely expired but oh well this is the kat von d liquid lipstick in lovesick and i bought this in new york so that's kind of like the reason i've kept it i literally haven't put this on in so long it really looks purple maybe let's try a little bit of it this I wish this was actually like a creamy formula. Like it's creamy, but like creamy to me means like semi-glossy. Well, that's a very pretty color. Let's use this gloss. I never use it. And it's the Catrice Volumizing Lip 
booster and we're just gonna drench our lips in this oh that might have been a too intense what else should i talk about i know that it's like such a long shot but i just really want taylor swift or taylor nation to notice me they're just reposting like all of their fan accounts and stuff which i get but i'm a hardcore taylor swift fan but like i'm not like a fan account kind of fan if that makes it nothing wrong with that like i love fan accounts i admire them because i cannot do that because like a lot of fan accounts will post like updates and stuff i'm not that dedicated i'm literally such a fan of her music and of her and i just want to meet her and know her i don't care about like all the not even drama but just like the news and the media about her I feel like that's what a lot of them are and yes they do get noticed but that's just not me this is literally gonna be the worst video to edit because i've been here for so long but it has been so fun to film that's what i'm gonna try and do a full freckle right here does that look like one whoa i feel like it kind of looks like i didn't cover up my zip but at the same time it doesn't this liner stained my fingers or is it the eyeshadows dun dun <laughs> So yeah, here is the finished look. I know I've said it a billion times, but this was so fun. It was such a good stress relief. I'm just really happy right now. I don't even care how my makeup looks, but I think it looks pretty darn good. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Also, let me know down below what videos you want me to do, all the firsts that you want me to do, just videos you want me to do during the summer and any makeup looks you want me to do if you do want me to do makeup looks or more chit chat or q a or anything like that please just comment down below i just really appreciate it i love reading your comments and i get very few but i love them when i do thank you so much for watching bye i love how weird i am be you boo ugh